Hey guys, what's up? So I also was asked to do a video about um, what I eat because I'm vegan and I do try to stay on the more healthier vegan side um, as opposed to eating like the Oreos and just a bunch of vegan burgers. So I have um, just a short little video to show you what's in my kitchen, what I cook with every day, what I think are some staples, and basically everything in my kitchen right now is from Trader Joe's. So it's something that most people have around them. Um, so here we go. All right, so starting off, I have the cereal. I barely ever eat cereal. I literally just got this for the first time. Um, I opened it and I took like a handful out, but I didn't really eat a bowl of cereal. I always get these coconut creams and coconut milks. I use them for my coffee. Also, it's like one of the few milk things that doesn't have anything in it. It only has like coconut in it. So that's why I can trust it. Um, and it's organic, of course. And organic garbanzo beans. If you have a food processor, these are so good. Um, to make hummus with. Also, I do like a little chickpea salad, garbanzo bean salad thing. Um, some nuts, it's always good to have like some protein. These are seeds, nuts, seeds, dried fruit, um, and then white or jasmine rice, whatever, and some ginger broth. This thing, you could put it in your rice, even like if you cook rice with it, it's really good. And then over here, I just have a couple herbs. Like, I always have turmeric, powdered turmeric, and then just like like tum dried turmeric root. It's really good um, for inflammation if you have any like immune issues. And then this is ashwagandha powder. I don't use this as much. Sometimes I'll put it in a smoothie, but um, mostly I put this in vitamins that I formulate for myself. And this is mesquite. This is actually like a desert herb. It's kind of sweet. It kind of tastes kind of earthy, kind of Again, something you can put in a smoothie for a little bit of added benefits. And then, of course, I have my coffee. Um, but that's basically it for like staples from what I get from the grocery store every week. Um, and that sustains me, like all this food right here, all this, it will last me at least the week. All right, so now for my refrigerator. The one thing in here that I'm super embarrassed about is this. I generally would never get this, but I was balling on a budget and there was not a lot of calories in it and it's vegan. Um, and there was like less chemicals in here than most other ones. So um, most sauce actually has milk in it, which is strange, but so that's the worst thing. Um, my favorite part of the fridge are these two things right here. And all my produce I get is always organic. Um, I have over here like some Brussels and some rainbow mini potatoes. I love making like roasted vegetables. That's one of my favorite like vegan, quick, easy vegan dishes for dinner. And then a lot of other times I'll just eat raw fruits and veggies throughout the day to keep my... I got these cool little grapes too. They're like called champagne grapes. They're like super tiny. Like literally look at how small these are. Like tiny. I don't know why I got them. They were on sale, so whatever. And some carrots, just, I just go to the grocery store. I got these, I was hoping to make like some tacos with these, um, or maybe something else. But I basically just go to the grocery store and get as many fresh looking produce things as possible. Um, of course, I also have like my Annie's like organic salad dressing in here. I ate the last of my salad yesterday. Um, these are actually really amazing as well. I treated myself. I went to Lassen's and I got this. It's like vegan, organic, and as always, there's like not very much stuff in here. Unfortunately, there is like this guar gum situation. I don't know what that is. I hate gums because it's like, why do you want gums in there? So that's that for the fridge. Um, so I get these. This is the first time I've actually gotten some frozen things from Trader Joe's like this. So we'll see how they taste. Um, I'll let you guys know. These look really good though. Again, I always look at ingredients. So if you look, like this is like, you know, again, they have that gum. But that's really the only thing in here besides like vegetables. Um, and then these look really good too. So these are really neat. Trader Joe's, you can sponsor me. Um, I have had these. These are amazing. These are one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. And then the 
which I'm about to try for the first time too. So I'll let you guys know how all these are. Again, it's organic, love that. Um, these things actually aren't organic. These two are not organic, but we're gonna try them anyway. We are spoiling ourselves. So there you have it. There was my little brief kitchen tour. I hope you guys found something appealing. Maybe if you're trying to go vegan, this is a place where you could start. Trader, I got all this stuff for like less than $70 at Trader Joe's. So you guys should head over there and that's like more than a week's worth of food for me. Um, cute little fridge action. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. See you soon.